Welcome to Kitchen 143. I am your host, Michelle Aventajado. And guys, it's been a while. I've missed you. Have you missed us? It's so glad. I'm so glad to be back. Um, we have definitely put together a really fun episode for this week. Um, I've been gone for a little while. I was visiting family in the U.S. Of course, we missed everyone. Super. Have you, you know, let us know, guys, where you're where you're logging in from. I see some of our regulars, Carrie and Lorraine. Um, RV, uh, RV is also there. Hey, guys, let us know where you're signing in from. Let us know if you missed us because we missed you, of course. But it's really awesome to be back. And of course, you know, for me, rainy days are here. And I know what I like to do during, you know, this rainy weather. I like to curl up and either read a good book or watch a good movie. You guys like to watch movies? Drop your comments in the comment section and let us know your favorite movie and your favorite snacks. Of course, we are going live here on the Rappler Facebook page, the Mama and Manila Facebook page, also on YouTube and Twitter. So if you want to win some of these fun prizes, make sure you're watching from our Facebook pages. Um, okay, so we like to watch movies. There's six of us in our family. And a lot of times when we're watching movies as a family, of course, the movie is directed towards Jelly. Jelly will choose. How many of you guys saw Minions recently? Um, Jelly love that one. So for us, Going to the movies is fun. Watching movies here at home between Netflix and any of the other streaming apps obviously has made it super easy for all of us to watch some really fun movies with the family or even if it's like date night and you wanna watch um, with your partner. I know the kids like to also have their choices, but we'll get into that later. Um, what do you watch when you wanna stay home? Do you guys watch series? Do you choose movies? Um, here, we are not only gonna be talking about the movies we like to watch, but we will be talking about the snacks we like to eat. Uh, there are so many different ways we can snack for movies. We can even be inspired by the movies because if you like to watch series i don't know about you guys but whenever i'm watching my k-drama i suddenly am craving korean food no korean food today but we are gonna chat with uh my favorite food blogger richie zamora who is the pickiest eater and chef Khalil chan of the rain tree group he's the corporate chef of the rain tree group so he has a bunch of different restaurants that he's managing all the time hi guys how are you Hello. Nice to be with you, Michelle. So glad you're here. How are you, Chef? I think Chef the, might uh, be frozen. Okay, I so. I, I, thought he, I thought he was giving us an intense stare. Like, he was. was that, like, stare off yeah. with him. <laughs> that, that chef you look, right? Okay, so right. while we're waiting for Chef to come back, let's go over some of the prizes that we will. Chef, you're back. Hi, Chef. How yes, I'm you? back. Hello, hello. Hi, everyone. <laughs> we're Sorry, good. Just... <laughs> Hi, Ricky. We're so Hi, Michelle. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Okay, so now that you're back, we'll go over some of the prizes that everybody is going to have a chance to win. You guys know Kitchen 143 is all about the experience. We want to share something with you. We want you to try it at home. And of course, we're going to make that possible through the partnerships that we have for each episode. You know the drill. So if you want to win, you need to be watching from the Facebook pages of either Mama and Manila or Rappler, and you must share our live stream. So remember, hashtag sharing is caring. This is where we want to make sure your posts are set to public so we can see them, and you will have a chance to win from Sunrise Buckets. We will have movie tray meals that will be sent out to you. From friends and family, you'll be able to claim GCs in restaurant um, right after they are finished renovating, which will happen soon. Um, and then you'll also receive from Ben B. Mart a fully loaded movie basket, snack basket for you guys to enjoy at home. And of course, we can't have movie night at home without the Lumos Ray projector. Of course, these this home cinema makes it super easy for you guys to have movie night at home. 
and from Bauman Living. You guys, this is awesome. You will have three winners who will win popcorn makers, one winner who will win a three liter deep fryer, and one winner who will win a power blender. So we're going to talk about all of these things that you get to win. You must remember that you have to have an address within Metro Manila so we can get some of these prizes to you are perishable, in fact. And of course, we want to see uh, where you're signing in from. Be, be sure to interact with us here in the comments. Someone is manning the comments, so we will be able to see. And I just, before we, we jump into movies, I just want to say hello to some of our viewers here. And if you guys have any questions for Chef, if you have any questions for Richie, um, you know, just drop them in the comment section so I can read them out to them. And, and of course, you guys know part of big part of the show is um, being able to interact with everybody here. All right, guys, movie night. I know you're both dads. Uh, what is movie night like for you guys? Well, for me, movie night is like Saturday or Sunday night. Like it's very relaxed. Uh, you don't have to do anything. So movie night is probably around 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. for me. And then probably we watch mga like at least two movies. Two movies, yes. So a double header. Double That's header, a yes. Double header. You know, when I was a, a kid and when I was a teenager, we would go to the movies. Our parents would drop us off and then we'd watch one movie and we'd sneak into a second. And so we would sneak in and watch another movie just because, you know, it was okay. To, of course, it's not okay, guys. You can't do that. You have to pay for your movies. Um, but so, Richie, how about you? Movie night at home. Uh, very similar to Chef, but uh, a little bit different. Uh, movie night would be, can either be both uh, Saturday and Sunday. If, we're, if, we're just, if we just have a lazy weekend, what would happen is that usually Saturdays, Rena would like to have a little me time because she works really hard during the, the weekdays. And, you know, she would go out with her sister or her cousins for, for coffee. And what would happen is that Rain is left with me at, at home. Uh, what, what would happen is that I would give uh, Rain and I would, that would be our movie night. But we would make it a little bit, a little bit earlier than how Chef does it. We would be in the af sometime in the afternoon, like 3 to 5 p.m., whether it's we just open a bag of some chips or she would ask to order pizza or some sort of fast food delivery. And uh, what would happen is that Sunday, if, if Rina goes out on Saturday, she would dedicate her Sunday to us to have another uh, movie, movie night. Uh, time, the, uh, as long as it's time together uh, as a family. So Sundays is usually for, uh, for the whole family. Saturdays is usually me and Rain. Nice. So I love that you have time alone with um, Rain, where it's like daddy-daughter time. Nino does exactly. that too. Exactly. And I think that's so important in a young girl's life, especially at this age where I know Rain is 11, right? I think all our kids are the same age. Right, right. <laughs> so, Turning 11. Yeah, Jelly too. So I feel like this is the time they really need us more than ever um, and watching those movies. So um, Richie, will she pick the movie most of the time or will you? What would happen is that I would kind of give her a list of, th of movies to choose from. And yes. uh, here, I, and I would, if, if I need to play the trailer on YouTube first, just so she gets a feel of what's going on, uh, and that's what would happen. But at the end of the day, I let her choose. Awesome, awesome. Movie night is a serious business, not just because, well, I am a teacher, so Richie, like you, I give choices. And the choices are usually three choices I would choose anyway, but they feel like they're choosing, right? Shh, we don't, <laughs> <laughs> they feel like they're choosing if we're giving them a choice. Um, so what, what we did actually for the six of us, so my kids are also old enough, they like to watch different types of movies as well, right? So my eldest is, she is going to be 23 in a few days. Um, Meg is 20, Diego is 17. So we went through this thing during the pandemic where, of course, movie night was like so often. It just, we didn't have to wait until the weekend during the quarantine period, right? Um, so what we would do is everybody would choose. So if tonight was my night, the kids knew I was choosing a documentary. <laughs> 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 it, 
if it was Nino's Night, um, it would be, uh, you know, a bang, bang, shoot 'em up movie, something adventurous, yeah. something, you know, very manly. Um, war, and then, like war movies. Right. Die hard. <laughs> right. So something where people are dying usually is what, you know, it's like, that's it. I love um, that. If, yeah. If Gia, if Gia chooses, she'll choose, you know, some kind of Korean flick or K-drama. Um, Mig and Diego, like it depends, but Diego kind of chooses, he likes things with like sports, basketball, um, you know, when the, the Jordan um, documentary came out, that was his oh, yeah. choice tonight. So those kinds of things. And of course, if Jelly chooses, you know, if Jelly chooses, it's all about the snack board because we're actually more into the snacks than watching, than watching <laughs> Jelly's movie. So sad. But I think the thing that makes watching movies at home even more fun, I think in this case, and for everybody who's tuning in, we have this Lumos projector that you guys will have the chance to win. Of course, guys, we know you got to stay all the way to the end. The three Lumos projectors that you're going to have a chance to win will be the last three questions. Um, and so, of course, this is an awesome um, home unit that you can use. And it totally gives you the cinema feels. First, I mean, in terms of plug and play, we can actually, I'm going to pick it up and show you just how light it is, because it's that light. Um, on the back, it, in the back, it has the USB, it has an HDMI um, cable that you can plug in. It's got built-in Dolby speakers. Um, this little unit, and it's made for small spaces, three meters from like where you set it down to the wall, you will actually have um, a hundred inch viewing space, right? And then of course, um, it's, it's got apps built into it as well. So it actually makes movie night at home even easier because you could log into your own Netflix. You could watch from YouTube. So if you guys wanted to go and catch an episode on the Pickiest Eater YouTube channel, all you have to do is click on the YouTube. And it also has the built in, um, you know, when you like airplay something from your unit to the, I think it's called air screen, right? Where, where you can play from your phone or your tablet directly to the unit as well. So super easy and, you know, screen wise in terms of the picture, the picture, uh, the resolution is 720, 720 pixels, which is pretty good. Now, if you add in a Blu-ray factor, then you'll be playing at 1080, but you know, for playing at home, I mean, guys, this totally levels up movie night for the kids. <laughs> Absolutely. Right. So comes with a little clicker. Um, we can, you know, go ahead, lay in bed. You could even, actually, Chef and I were talking about this earlier with Richie. You could even, like, prop it up and play it on the ceiling if you wanted to. So very easy to do, very easy. And, of course, when we have um, movie night like this, I know we talked, we talked about how we choose our movies. We didn't even talk about yet what kind of snacks we have. So I know every, I mean, we get, we have the whole episode obviously to talk about snacks, but what movie night is not complete without popcorn, right? Yes, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> so I know, I know chef, you prepared um, a popcorn recipe for us. Yes, um, yes. Yeah. Do you want to tell us a little bit about it before we show the video? Okay. So what I thought is, I said popcorn is, you buy it, na it's all like flavors of like cheese, uh, barbecue, sour cream. So I made it a little different, parang Pinoy style. So what we did is uh, sinigang popcorn. Love so, it! So uh, sinigang popcorn, it's spicy sinigang popcorn. And with a little kangkong flakes on top. Uh, so okay. yeah, it's a little color to it, yeah. You can add, uh, you can add uh, na, like chicharon. To make it parang to simulate the sinigang. It's like dry sinigang. Wow. Popcorn. Awesome. Nice. Let's roll the video. <laughs> so yeah, so that's the sinigang popcorn. So you just open the lid so that the steam uh, goes out. Put probably around a tablespoon of oil and half cup of uh, popcorn. Tapos cover it. 
and then just let it pop. Siguro that's around like a minute. It's so fast. Like that. Super. <laughs> so, and it's so easy. Yeah. Cover the lid again and then turn it over. So that actually can serve as a bowl. So you have your sinigang powder. You have your salt. This is Korean chili flakes, which you can buy it in any Korean store. And Kang Kong flakes. Or that's optional. You can use parsley or whatever. And then just mix it like that. And then toss it. So it has this uh, uh, sour and spicy uh, flavor. Yeah. Perfect. It's and that I know. Easy. And it was so yummy. We were noshing on it um, while Chef was preparing for the next video. Um, Richie, what is your go-to? If it's not popcorn, what do you guys like to nosh on? Uh, Rain's number one is definitely popcorn, right? So our, my neck, the next choice for her would be Doritos. Uh, for me, it's definitely mm -hmm. potato chips. Uh, I usually go for the Lay's barbecue, the black bag. Okay. While Rain, Rain loves the the nacho cheese of uh, of the of Doritos, but Love in Doritos. What, uh, what I remember when I was young, uh, my mom would make for us those the melt the Rice Krispie bars. She would make it homemade, uh, melted Marsh into marshmallows. Oh. Right, right there. We um, those are like a little <laughs> bit of sweet salty going on. I love sweet exactly. salty. I'm going to share Sweet Salty about how much I love that later on in the episode. But a lot of our viewers, so a lot of them say they love popcorn too. One mommy is saying, as much as I try not to eat junk food when we watch movies, we still go for it. I do too, mommy. It's okay. We just watch it. We just we can have the junk food every now and then. It's okay. Right. <laughs> or you could add, you know, like Chef did in the popcorn, you could put a little dehydrated kung kung in there and then you can feel good about it too. <laughs> because there's vegetables. Um, or you can put you can put nori, like a, a powdered nori. It's it's healthy. Seaweed. Yeah, that's so good too. Okay, so I know that everybody who is watching in, they're really interacting with everyone here. So Doritos, Carrie thinks Doritos is awesome. Daisy loves Doritos too. Guys, don't worry, you'll be getting a chance to win a whole box of snacks, including Doritos. Um, kids, Maria says, Maria Alessandra says, my kids love watching Charlie and the Chocolate Factory for our movie night. It's a fun movie for all ages. I totally agree. I even love the classic with Gene Hackman because that was Wilder. my generation. Gene Wilder, Gene sorry. Gene Wilder. Thank you for correcting me. <laughs> Gene Wilder. <laughs> that would Hackman. be a whole different movie. <laughs> <laughs> yes, absolutely. See, so we have some movie buffs here, um, which is great. And I love that because that's going to make for interesting conversation. Okay, guys, are you ready for your first quiz the cook question up for grabs? Of course, I know you're all waiting. We have from Sunrise Buckets a movie tray meal. That movie tray includes wings, chips, cheese, and a little place where you can like put your phone if you wanted to watch, right? So I'm going to leave my phone here because it's just... It's cute that way. Um, and then we also have um, from friends and family. Perfect. Chef is showing how cute it looks this way. Um, from friends and family, we have a 1,000 peso gift certificate that you can claim in restaurant once um, renovations have been completed um, here in BGC. From Ben B Mart, you also get a fully loaded basket containing all of these products. You have smart food, popcorn, popcorner, Doritos, cheese puffs, um, you have a bunch of stuff here, sweet and salty, and their chef is showing it. And even, you know, I don't, did you guys get the cheese loker? I got cheese loker and I'm so excited to try it. Um, and then you will also get from Bauman Living, a popcorn maker, the exact same popcorn maker that Chef Kalel showed us how to make the chili sinigang popcorn so if you're living in metro manila you have a chance to win this remember the mechanics involved sharing the live stream hashtag sharing is caring setting your post to public um, you can share it from either rappler or mama and manila and of course um, be the first to comment correctly so you know this is kitchen 143 so our questions the five questions is 
one, four, three, four, four. So if you are of the generation here on the screen, you know what that means. That's beeper speak for I love you very much. So the first winner will take home all of these prizes and more. Um, chef, would you mind reading our first question that we're gonna flash on the screen? Oh, sure, sure. What is the resolution resolution of the Lumos Ray projector? Okay, so I know we talked about this earlier. I gave you like a whole list of all the different things that the Lumos Ray projector actually um, offers home viewers, uh, you know, movie night home viewers. And of course, you know, while, while we are... Uh, while our social media team is seeing who answered first correctly and who shared the live stream, we can go ahead and talk about more snacks. So we talked about chips earlier. So fun, fun little fact, Richie, you said you love chips. Love for, chips. You love chips. Chef, I know you even created these Kong Kong chips as well. Yes, Kong Kong we chips. <laughs> Right. So when you make chips at home, are they normally like this or would you crack open a, a potato chip bag as well? Do you let your, no. your kids? Yeah, no. Yeah. It has to be a no brainer. You just have to open a bag. You just, uh, <laughs> so I love, I love, I love uh, potato chips like see Richie, like lace barbecue and Cheetos. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Cheetos. awesome. And Cheetos. You love the and Cheetos. Cheetos. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Looks like we have a winner. And Claire, congratulations. You answered correctly for 720 pixels. Very good. Oh, she even answered 100 inch viewing space. Well, that wasn't the question, but you did answer correctly with 720 pixels. Thank you for sharing. And of course, the Rappler team will be getting in touch with you to make sure that we can deliver your items to you or you can pick them up also. Um, so that was the other thing, guys. You will pick up your GC and friends and family, and you will also pick up your appliance in the Bauman Living Showroom in um, Green Hills. It's a beautiful showroom. You guys can check it out. You'll pick up your, your prize there, um, and it's you'll actually get to learn a lot about the different appliances that they have to make your life easier in the kitchen. Right, Chef? Yep, yep. It's all about making so, our life easier in the kitchen. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I go like, like my deep fryer is always on standby. <laughs> so is that your favorite appliance? Favorite appliance. My number one favorite appliance in the house is my deep fryer. Bowman Excellent. deep fryer. <laughs> Fantastic. Richie, um, I know that you don't do too much cooking, but if you were going to say your favorite appliance in the kitchen, what would it be? Well, right now, because I'm trying to uh, eat healthier, uh, I would say that I'm I'm honestly uh, getting the hang of the blender. Okay. Not just as a way to make shakes, but like Rena was showing me how she made uh, cauliflower rice with it and other yes. things that, you know, uh, that – Every time you think of a blender, you think it's just for you know making a drink or something like that. But there's actually a whole lot more uses for it, and uh, that's what I'm learning now. And much to my how do you say it? Much to my surprise, it's a the process is a, is a whole lot easier than I thought it would be. And there's ways to make it tasty as well. Right, right. It is easier actually, and I'm sure you know mm -hmm. when when we do want to be mindful about what we're what we're taking in, these appliances can only make things easier for us. So exactly. that's awesome. But when we don't, um, you guys both talked about chips. I love chips. I actually, I don't know if this is a confession. I was probably the happiest I ever was with one of my anniversary gifts that Nino gave me one year. It was early on in our marriage. He joined a chip of the month club for me. <laughs> so every month I got five new that? bags. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. But like from all over the world, these chips were wow. sent from like different places. And every time the box would come, it would be like a big, it was, it was like an unveiling and unboxing. <laughs> unboxing before there was unboxing. Like I think my favorite, my favorite bag of chips was a Maui 
kettle corn from Hawaii or something, but like the kettle chip from Hawaii, like that, yeah. the, that chip of the month club was like the best gift ever. <laughs> now, of course, we can do things even easier here with all the deliveries and where we can order online as well. This was like before that was even, I was still living in New York. So that was at least 16 years ago. <laughs> so good stuff. But chef mentioned the deep fryer. So deep fryer, we talk about wings, we talk about rolls, we talk about, I mean, like chef, when you use your deep fryer, you say you love your deep fryer, what are some of the things that you would whip up quickly? Well, usually for moving nights, it's always uh, my son and my wife loves uh, chicken wings. And I usually do make uh, about three flavors. Uh, so it's like soy, garlic, buffalo wings, and then garlic parmesan. and your mom, like the basic, basic flavors. Yeah. Uh, the top three uh, best-selling chicken wing flavors. Yes. So that's our usual movie night uh, snacks. Th those are our favorites, too. Those are our favorites, mm. too. But when we don't feel like cooking um, wings, because if you don't want to fry them, you um, you can order. And that's yeah. what you <laughs> Right? You guys were showing that earlier on cam. And this is the, um, I'm going to pick it up and show you guys. This is the little snack tray. It's so cute. It has the wings. It has the cheese. It's from Sunrise Buckets. My friend Abby um, is behind Sunrise Buckets. And, you know, we're not just friends. We go to the same church, but we're also neighbors. She lives downstairs. And I love the wings for the ease. Of course, you can order. But then you could also, if you wanted to cook them at home, which I've done, and you wanted to keep them. She also has these frozen packs. So you could drop them in the fryer. Wow. Right? And they're already done. It comes with like a sauce. So for those of us that, you know, didn't want to whip anything up and did, you know, wanted to find it easier to just order, you could do that. And, you know, they go beyond the basics, chef. Um, Sunrise Buckets actually has 25 flavors. Wow. That's a lot. <laughs> um, <laughs> So for you, um, boneless or wings, uh, or boneless or bone in, which do you bone prefer? In. Bone I in. I love bone in. Bone in is better for me. Single bone, double bone? Both. Ah, it has to have I, the that uh, the variety. Richie. Both. Boneless, yeah, this, bone in. There, there's really something about uh, the bone in that it, it's, I, I think... Uh, having it boneless is kind of cheating. The, the part <laughs> of the experience of eating chicken wings is being able, uh, especially like I, you devise your own way. Like I take out the, uh, I, I snap, I, I twist the bone and then I twist the top out, out. and then I get sort of like a nugget. So yeah. that's sort of like, and then yeah. I just nibble on the wingette. So yeah. making it boneless is kind of, for me, it's kind of cheating. <laughs> so, nibble on the ligament. I love the ligament. Exactly. <laughs> you like that? You like the ligament. So I'm odd man out here. I'm I would prefer boneless because I feel like it's so much easier. <laughs> but but I love if I was gonna eat bone in, I like double. Um, I like the double bone, and Nino likes the single bone. So it's very like perfect. We go together, so we're a good match because we both <laughs> like different parts of the chicken wing. <laughs> um, so but if you wanted to go ahead and, and deep fry those um, wings in the deep fryer, I know that the, the Bauman, we're actually going to show you how to use it later. Chef actually created another recipe where we feature the Bauman uh, deep fryer. It's a three liter deep fryer. But before we do that, I want to tell everybody about the showroom. I mentioned it earlier. It's in Green Hills. Um, right now they have an ongoing offer. And this is another appliance I have by them. It's the it's the duo electric um, pressure cooker and air fryer. Chef, remember when we were talking about pressure cookers and how scary yes. I am? How like I find it so yeah, scary. Yeah. But this one is actually, it's a duo. And you can just change the top part of it um, and it becomes an air fryer and you can roast a whole large chicken in it um, with your potatoes and everything or you change the top and it becomes a pressure cooker so it's actually two appliances in one and right now they're running a 20 percent off wow, special i cooking. love it yeah it's 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 big it takes up you know a good amount of counter space but when it's two appliances in one so basically you're actually saving 
um, the counter space that you would have for another unit. All mm -hmm. you have to do is just put the, the top part, which is, you know, I guess that would be the heating element for the um, air fryer. And then that would be the part that locks for the pressure cooker. So very useful. Pressure cooker. Um, and yeah, it's and it's very useful. And if you guys are interested, of course, you can go ahead and visit the showroom this July 30th because they're going to be demoing the unit. And of course, you can have some light bites. Check out the other units. Check out the popcorn maker because it's super easy to use as well. Um, and check out any of the other things that you wanted to see. Um, but chef, you made something completely different with your deep fryer. Something nobody's yes. going to even guess. Okay, guys, comments. Oh, my goodness. I haven't been paying attention to the comments. I'm sorry, guys. I was so involved talking to these um, these gentlemen that, that I haven't been checking on you. Um, okay. I want you guys to guess what you think Chef made in the deep fryer. Um, and we'll just chat a little bit more because I'm really curious to see if... If you were watching my stories, you would have known, but if not, we can also say hello. So if you guys have any questions for Chef or for Richie, Richie, someone did say hello. Was it Crystal or Kristen said, hello, Sir Richie. Wow. Um, Christine, yeah. hello. Hi, Christine. Yeah, Christine. yeah. Okay. So Chef, before you, um, let's see if they're guessing. They are, because they are just they so, are. they are, right? French fries, okay. Chicken we won't... wings, buffalo wings, chicken, chicken pops. Right. All right. So we won't, um, guys. You, you, you're so far off. Mm -hmm. Chef, why don't you tell us about the inspiration? Why you know you chose? There's um, someone. To make... Someone. Someone got it right. Apple French fries. Oh, they did. So they must have been watching our stories. <laughs> so that's someone who actually pays very. Ooh, Alexis, she is. She's one of our faithful followers. She watches every episode. Hi, Alexis. So glad you're tuning in again. Um, okay, so Chef, talk to us about the apple fries. Yeah, so my when I when my cousin was in Legoland, so I saw I saw his story. Tapos he took a picture and he spelled it apple. Apple fries. So oh, what's that? <laughs> apple. Yeah, apple fries. So I asked him. Is it like a, is it like a, it's, is it like a dough or it's, it's a real apple? He said, parang it's like a churros outside. So, wait, it, it's not clear. It's not clear. The answer was not clear. When you bite in it, is it real apples inside? He said, yes. So the next day, I did it in Jones all day. So I was so curious. I tried it. So it's so easy. I used uh, the green apples. So it has a tarty, tarty taste so as compared to... Yeah. Yes, Granny Smith, as compared to the red apples. Yeah, so maybe I'll explain more when you show the, the video. Yeah, we can. Okay, but uh -huh. Chef, before we show the video, I just want to let you know, anytime you want to experiment and try any of those things and you're downstairs <laughs> in Jones, just give a holler. I can come and I I, I will. I will. <laughs> Come and test them out for you. <laughs> Richie, I want to give a tribute as well. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's roll the video. So, yeah, that's the apple fries with melted ice cream, vanilla ice cream, and powdered sugar. So, first, cut the lemon, put it in water. And so we use lemon because it will make sure that the apples won't brown. Yes, won't oxidize that fast. Right. Okay. So yeah, so peel the Granny Smith apples. Cut it like a fries. Put it back in the lemon water. So anytime these fruits turn brown, it's you could use citrus or acid to, to make yes. sure that it wouldn't, right? So the okay, starch so that I the used is uh, cornstarch, mm -hmm. and I added a cinnamon for taste and color. So there was no sweetener yeah, on the apple. There. And yeah. you fry it for, for no sweetener. Yes, and then fry it for around probably two minutes until it's crispy outside. Yeah, so um, here, 
chef is using the Bauman fryer and it was, it has that, that basket that you can pick yeah. up and pull everything out really easily. Mm -hmm. And uh, sorry, I forgot to, I uh, know, to tell the, the temperature should be around 165 degrees oh, perfect. Celsius. Okay. Yeah. And then finish it off with powdered sugar and dip it in uh, vanilla ice cream. Melted, dip, dip. but vanilla ice cream. Yeah. Dip, dip, dip. I love to dip. Mm -hmm. And um, I love that actually. So sorry, Richie, we couldn't invite you to this one, but it really tasted like apple pie. Yes. Like if you like apple pie, it was like apple pie a la mode. It was so I've good. actually tried these apple fries from Legoland. So <laughs> you I'm have. Like wow. <laughs> Perfect. So you well, know exactly where Chef found the inspiration. Mm -hmm. Right, right. So, well, uh, my my daughter and my wife were on the ride. They were wondering why I want to go with them. It's because I spotted the, <laughs> I spotted the kiosk. Apple fries. <laughs> <laughs> so, and there wasn't a line, so I said, "Go ahead, go ahead. I'll, I'll follow. I'll follow." <laughs> and while they were lining up for the ride, I was lining up for the apple fries. <laughs> All, always looking out for the snacks. I mean, that's like in Disney, right? You see people walking around with the turkey legs, and then right, you're right. Like, where's that? <laughs> Follow the turkey leg. Like, where did it come from? We go just as much for the snacks as we do for the rides and the entertainment for the kids. Guys, this is time for another quiz the cook question. Of course, up for grabs again, you guys. All these prizes are available for everyone who is tuning in, watching from the Rappler Facebook page or the Mama and Manila Facebook page. Please remember you need a Metro Manila address to deliver to. For some of the prizes, you will have to go to the Bauman showroom in Green Hills and go check it out and pick up your prize there. And for friends and family, once they're done renovating, which will be very shortly. I mean, I think, Chef, are we talking like September, August, September? When when yeah. can people expect to visit? So we're going to close on uh, August 1. And okay. then hopefully shooting for mid-August or September. Fan fantastic. Because, okay. I, because I know how construction works. <laughs> yes, that's why I also was giving a little leeway as well. So you guys, all you got to do also is just message them and they'll let you know when they'll be ready and, and well open and ready to serve you again. So you'll get a thousand peso gift certificate from friends and family, which is part of the Rain Tree group. Um, and then of course, you will also get a fully loaded basket from Ben B. Mart. And from Bauman Living, you will receive a popcorn maker, perfect for your movie night. Okay, so for this one, winner number two, you have to get that you have to be the fourth answer, the fourth person to answer correctly, right? We did one, four, three, four, four. This is the second question. So this means commenter number four who answers correctly will um, get to take home these prizes. Where did Chef Kalel find the inspiration to make the apple fries with melted ice cream? So I'm sure you guys will be able to answer this quick. That's an easy one um, for you. I'm sure if you were paying attention, but guys, let's talk about pre-pandemic. Um, pre-pandemic movie going, because of course now it's different, but when, you know, before, before the world changed, where did you guys like to go to the movies and you know how was your movie going experience back then when you would go out of the house right because we talked about being at home um when you go out what is it like where's your go-to place to catch a movie um and uh you know what's it like for you guys rich richie well we would watch uh we we, we like watching it uptown uh there in bonifacio uptown mall Mainly because Rena and Rain absolutely love the popcorn. Okay. They love the sour, the sour cream popcorn there. And what, what's nice about it is that uh, during that time, it wasn't as uh, popular as uh, a venue as the other places that right. uh, we had gone to. So it was really uh, almost like uh, a, a, little bit, a little bit like a hidden gem. Like not very yeah. many people knew that it was... Uh, yeah, right. So, so yeah. but at, at the same time, what they would go, what they would really go for there was the the popcorn for some reason. And I would ask them when I would suggest like a different place, they would say, "No, no, no, we like the popcorn. <laughs> we like the popcorn here at uh, Uptown." I was like, "Okay, but it's 
funny. It tastes the same like the others. And to them, it was different. Especially to Rina. She loved the sour cream. So I was like, okay, wherever you guys want. I'm, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's funny that you say that they chose based on the popcorn, which, yes. you know, I've gone to movie theaters and if the popcorn is awful, you're like, oh, the popcorn's really stale or bad. Right. So I get It's that. part of the experience. Yeah. It is part of the experience. Absolutely. Chef, how about you? Your go-to. So uh, I live uh, near Rockwell. So we always uh, go to Rockwell. That's our movie go-to place, Rockwell. And of course, we always have a combo. Yes. When it comes to snacks. So what's your it's combo? Always, it's always a fruit shake. Yes. Uh, Jamaican patty. Okay. Fries. Yes. And uh, and popcorn. Excellent. And you see, and you see it. We ano tawag ito, We pass it on like popcorn <laughs> first. I pass it to my son. And I'll eat yeah. the fries. Yon. Yes. Tapos Jamaican patty. It always has to be one each. What what flavor Jamaican patty? Pinatubo. Yeah, you wow. go spicy. You would go spicy. Yep. I, I, I so can't take the spice. I do the beef and Same. mushroom. <laughs> I do the beef and Same. mushroom. <laughs> cheesy beef. I'm, I'm a cheesy beef guy. Yes. Yes. Okay. So I think we have a winner, but I will share before I share the winner um, that my favorite go-to place also is Uptown. And they have... Um, Richie, did you guys do you guys go to the ultra one where actually so you get the popcorn, but then yes. you get a bag of potato chips as well? Have right. you gone okay. when they do that as well, right? Yes. So they you get a whole bag, a whole bag of potato chips, and then you also get um, a soda or an iced tea if you would like, like right. a fountain drink, and then you get a bottle of water. Yes. For your right. ticket. That's all included in your ticket. And I'm like, this is awesome. You can go to your chips. You can have your popcorn if you want. Of course, I always give you know my my drink and I'll just have the water. But I love um, Uptown for the movie theaters as well. And it is a secret. I, I don't know if it'll be a secret anymore. <laughs> because, you know, there's so very few people who go. It's pretty awesome. We do have a winner. Um, and it looks like we have, sorry, there it is. Eddie Ellie Bungai. Wow. He answered correctly. I know. Legoland, yes. yeah. Legoland. So if you're paying attention, you would know that it was um, Chef Khalil's cousin who posted Apple. Um, Apple. And, <laughs> yeah, Apple. So, okay, so we talked about chips and we talked about um, congratulations, uh, Eddie Italy. Congratulations. Uh, yes, congratulations. You get lots of goodies. Um, so make sure when the Rappler team reaches out to you, provide an address and a phone number so that um, you can go ahead and coordinate with all the partners to claim your prizes. Our partners were so generous this episode. I mean, really lots of fun things for the whole family, guys. You could choose to share it with the family or you could just go out with the wifey if you wanted. <laughs> as well um but you know we were talking about chips and i you know this this basket that we have from benby so all of these um chips and snacks you could find on benbymart.com and this basket inclusion so i want to pan the basket just so i could like tell you guys share with everyone what's in here there's a nutella be ready and this is really yummy because actually it, yes, this thing, it's filled with Nutella. You know that wafer kind of like, it's almost like, um, <laughs> it's it's a way, very thin wafer uh, filled with Nutella and you can break it and it just drips out. It's super yummy. Um, there's also a Hershey's uh, coffee bar, right? So I'll read off everything that's here. It's something for everyone. A Nutella Be Ready. You have the Kinder Joy Boy. You have 4D Gummy Blocks. Um, you also have Hershey's Dark Cocoa Creations with, you know, coffee flavor. And when you open this up, you guys will smell the coffee really clearly. It's like definitely a chocolate bar for adults. Tim Tam Original Doritos Nacho. So this is Rain's favorite. Where is it? So you have Doritos. Um, I think her favorite was nacho cheese, right? So nacho cheesier. Um, Lay's stacked sour cream and onion, popcorners, loker. And depending on which basket you'll get, you'll either get loker chocolate, loker napolitanier, and loker cocoa and milk. 
Um, and then you have a m and share bag. And my favorite for me, this is my favorite, is Smart Food Popcorn. So this is probably my go-to popcorn since I was a teenager as well, or um, maybe even in my college days. It's cheddar cheese, um, super easy. I would hoard these bags and I wouldn't share them with my siblings. If you guys were to choose your favorite in that basket, Chef, which is your favorite there? Uh... I'm a sucker for Cheetos. So do you like the puffs like that, or do you like them the crunchy ones? The crunchy one, actually. Yung jalapeno. Yeah. Yeah. Like it spicy. Ooh, spicy again. Uh, you like the spicy. Yeah. Richie and I will pass on the spicy. <laughs> <laughs> Richie, I know you said your favorite earlier, but why don't you share again, um, you know, what other favorites you would pull from this basket? Oh, definitely. Well, apart from the... Uh, apart from the the Doritos, I love uh, anything to do with uh, Kinder products. Rain, ever since she was a kid, uh, she would love she would love the eggs, the Kinder eggs. And it was funny. It's funny because I was just talking to her recently. It's because when she was young, she would buy. Uh, I would buy her this, and up to now, whenever we uh, like, uh, when when she expects like some sort of a like a pasalubong, we would get her an egg. And yes. when she was young, it would always be her opening it and playing with the playing with the toy, toy. and then yes. me going, "Are you gonna eat that?" <laughs> Are you <gonna> eat that? <laughs> but now, uh, but as she got older, the toy is there, and she's yeah. st she started she starts off the, with the chocolate, and she's kind enough to say, uh, "Daddy, do you want to keep the toy?" Because she. Aww. I put the, because I put the toys there, and I said, "No, I'd rather have the chocolate." <laughs> Perfect. These actually, these Kinder Joy eggs, really, you know, on the way out of the grocery store, you're saying like these are pasalubong, these are like the little treats. My right. bribe would always be to jelly. Like if you listen well and you stay in the cart and you don't run away, I will get you a Kinder Joy egg at the checkout. <laughs> like, like, please just listen. <laughs> stay in the cart so I don't have to chase you. So the Kinder Joy eggs are, are, are golden for the kids. Right. Um, everybody loves it. But chef, there are lots of people here who agree. They love Cheetos. So Mary Ann Roman Romanialos de Jesus. That is a long name. Um, loves Cheetos as well. Time to Hada says, my six-year-old daughter still wants Kinder Junior for Pasalubong. See, our kids are 10 and 11, 10 going 11. They still love Kinder Joy too. Um, Cheetos, lots of fans for Cheetos. So I'm going to share with you guys like these, of course, these snacks are super easy. You can order them online and you don't, I mean, I was so surprised when I, when I, contacted Bembi to see if they wanted to partner for this movie episode. I didn't even realize how many brands they had. So many of the brands that we um, know as these like snack foods and, you know, novelty items are really fun and they're all under their umbrella. So you could actually visit benbimart.com and order all in one. So if you didn't win this basket, you could go ahead and order the whole, like everything in it and have your own basket ready for your movie night at home. So there are lots of things that I do as mo as a mom to make my life easier. And a lot of times I like to put everything out on a tray or a board. So chef, I know the whole charcuterie board has taken off. Like that was trending for how long, right? All these different boards. I am also known as the lazy mom on Saturday who will put out a brunch board, which basically just means I put everything on the board so that I yeah, don't I have know. to do a lot of dishes. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, let's not do dishes. Um, so for this one, I got the idea to make a movie um, snack tray with all of the snacks available on Bembi.com, BenbiMart.com. And I just added some fresh fruit. So we did this at the beach. I'll roll the video. I'll walk everybody through it. And guys, go ahead and make sure you're paying attention because I see everybody's commenting, really. They're making praying hands. Please, I hope to win. I hope to win. <laughs> so, all right, guys, stay tuned. We'll, we'll show you the snack tray first. Um, really, whenever making a, track, a snack tray, we can roll the video. It's, it's about, for me, it's like colors, textures, and taste. So I like to do the sweet and the salty, which is why I 
put the chocolate together with the salty. Your containers are, are important as well. Different size containers. Um, the first one that I put in was the mangoes. Then I put like I fanned out sliced apples. I'll be honest, the mangoes, apples, and bananas were the last to go. <laughs> I did not eat them. <laughs> you can see on my stories when we were at the beach and I made this, like everything was gone and the fruit was still there. Um, so everything that we used, it's so easy. It's really just an open and place. Um, and because, you know, we shot down at the pool, it was very easy to do. This was actually this weekend in Batangas. And putting the different colors next to each other just kind of makes for, you know, obviously we know we eat with our eyes as well as our, our mouth, our taste buds. So looking at all these fun things, um, having gummies for different texture, chocolate for sweets, the salty popcorners, and of course the, the cheddar popcorn for me is um, something that I really enjoy. The surprising one was the Nutella Be Ready. Cause I, when I bit into that, I was like, whoa, that's like a little party. Cause you, the wafer cracks open and the Nutella just drips out. Um, yeah. There's so many ways you can make these snack trays. We've done sweet and savory, like Gia will bake some cookies and then we'll even put some meat and cheese or olives. Like you, as long as you make sure that things that shouldn't kind of touch in flavor don't then it's like a party and literally because that tray is so big we'll put it in front of all six of us and everybody's happy so we don't have to do anything and i just have to wash the tray <laughs> winner <laughs> win for everybody it looks really and beautiful here. michelle <laughs> thank you so easy right i mean guys you could do this with all sorts of things you could make it a fruit platter and then put like melted chocolate you could use the chocolate melt the chocolate you could even put marshmallows and do like a s'mores board with graham crackers i mean there's so many different ways that you could put together a board for the whole family of course you're cutting down on dishes and making it easy during movie night um, right. If you wanted to do a savory board, you could have your deep fryer and do your wings and your mozzarella sticks and maybe your your cheese sticks or lumpia. Um, I think there's so many different things you could do with all the different flavors, just kind of theme it, right? Because that's what we do. We like to theme it and tie it all up in a bow so that everything kind of fits together. Right. All right, guys. Are we ready for the next question? Yay. Yeah. Game. Okay. Um, Richie, could you read it for me? Sure. What is Michelle's favorite snack from the snack tray options? Oh. Can I join? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but guys, don't worry because we do have two more quiz the cook rounds. Now, remember, this is the third question. So this is one, four, three. The third person to answer correctly will win these prizes. Okay. So you guys go ahead and we will see um, who wins this third question. But while we do that, let's talk about decisions, decisions, decisions. Um, who decides? I know we talked about movie night at home earlier, right? And there's lots of times we talk about like um, the, the types of movies that we like to watch. If you're feeling generous and you know, um, you know, the kids are going to choose or your wives are going to choose, what, um, what would they end up, what type of movie would they end up choosing? Chef. Yeah, for me, uh, yeah, for me, it's, uh, we choose based on our mood. Okay. So, parang it has to be this day, parang it has to be a light movie. Mm. Parang very light. And then probably tomorrow, it has to be like medyo mga deadly, war, those kind of things. <laughs> yeah. Pero yeah. my son right now is in the stage of zombies. Okay. So he loves mga Korean zombies. Yes, so uh, Train to Busan. Train to Busan. And all of us are dead. Yeah. So, so, yeah, that's his. Pero kasi, when he chooses, we'll watch. And then after, I go upstairs na. Me and mama will watch mga Gladiator again. <laughs> Mga those yeah. kind of movies. Yeah. Yeah. Violent, violent movies. <laughs> so Gladiator with, um, what's his name? Russell Crowe. Russell Crowe. Yeah, like that That was such, I mean, that was Russell kind Crow, of. Russell Crowe, yes. So, yeah, that was a brutal movie, but what a love story. Oh, okay, Richie, 
Um, if you were going to yeah. let Rena choose or Rain. Yeah, with R Rina, it would definitely be a K-drama. She would definitely <laughs> choose a K-drama. Uh, <laughs> with with Rain, uh, her her movie choices right now are uh, whatever's popular on Disney or, or something like that, right? Uh, yeah. It's recently I got her, I, but that's that's fine because Rina and I are really Disney parents. We yes. we love every, all things Disney. Um, yes. So, to us, it was uh, uh, we. Those are things that we want to watch anyway. So right. even like when Lightyear came out, we we marked it like okay. I go, Rain, you want to watch uh, uh, Lightyear? She's like, yeah, yeah. Then we re realized we didn't even ask Rain yet if she wants to watch. <laughs> oh, Rain, how about you? you... <laughs> so it was already like default that anything Disney. Rain and Rain and I are are like game. we're on it. We're we're game yeah. For it. And what do you think Rain about pretty Lightyear? much? I we didn't get we were supposed to watch it this weekend. Not yet. Okay, so that's on the that's on the the docket for this weekend. Awesome. Right, so right. if if and if Rain would choose, she would also choose Disney too. Most likely, but uh, she she's very right now. She's very much into gaming. So uh, uh, when 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 we make her choose something to watch, it would she would most likely go into YouTube and. <laughs> and go to one of those gamer channels and where they're where they're playing and uh they just make um uh commentary while they're playing and uh she yes. likes watching FGTV. Have you heard of them? I they're haven't, but one I of, one of the biggest uh uh family channels on YouTube. They're a family okay. of and it's very interesting because the 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 guy started the channel when his daughter was born and his daughter mm -hmm. is now 15 years old. Oh my god! Years old. Over fifteen and then, years, you've seen her grow. Yeah, you've seen her. You've seen her from a child. You've seen her grow, and uh, uh, throughout the years, she she had they had uh, four more kids. Okay, so, so you five. see the whole family grow, and and they're hilarious. They're hilarious. I think I might. I think Jelly might watch that one. I have to take a look. Um, right. But she I, does. I wouldn't be surprised. The same kind of things on YouTube too, where someone's watching something and giving a commentary about it, and she right. has now started trying to shoot her own vlogs that way as well. Oh my god! Yes, yes. <laughs> That's what I was trying to get her to do toy reviews before, but she wasn't yeah. into it. But she, but with gaming, when I told her how gaming. about gaming, she, yes, right, and awesome. she, be, she, she. She take like a whole different personality takes over her when she's gaming. She's really she's really shy and sweet, and when yes. she's talking to her friends on uh, Roblox, yes, she's yelling oh. and hey, wah, wah, wah. I was like, whoa, what the hell is that? <laughs> it's like an alter ego. Jelly's the same way. She played Roblox too, and I love it. I love watching them play that. Um, right. Does your son play Roblox? Yes, yeah, a lot, a lot. Kyan and loves Roblox, and then yeah, Richie. He, he watches mga commentary na ano na gaming, <laughs> di ba? Sometimes <laughs> say, morning palang, morning palang. Yeah, you hear it na. Sabi ko, kaya 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 just shut down the TV. <laughs> we have a rule. Yeah, we have a rule, eh. yeah. have a rule where I tell her exactly. We have a, we have that rule. I go and I always tell her, babe, when we're watching, can we can we just not watch yung ganon because they're shouting, they're screaming. They're shouting, they're yeah. yeah. Diba? Too Sige, much. I'm too old for it now. I'm too old for it. And <laughs> 6 a.m. in the morning. You hear that. Pito and pita levels here. Don't wake yeah. us up with that. Give us coffee first. <laughs> okay, guys, we have That's a true. winner. Coffee Mona. <laughs> coffee Mona. Coffee first. So we have a winner for the third question. Jekka Kalalkal. Congratulations, smart food popcorn yes and you use the hashtag sharing is killing lovely time manifesting to when you did thank you lord right <laughs> congratulations jekka um the team will get in touch with you okay so I, I have a quick thing before we ask um richie to share his recipe that him and rain did as we were talking about um drinks and snacks and stuff but Nino and I have this convert, we have this debate, right? When we're talking about all the different movies that we watch. And 
he always calls like the chick flick. The chick flick, right, is something that can really happen. It's like terrible. It's either a heartbreak or a win, or it's like reality, right? And then the bang bang shoot 'em up adventure films that he likes, um, you know, to watch is where. You know, there's this huge wave that comes over all, you know, half, half of the tsunami hits half of the U.S., takes it down. Like, of course, this stuff could never happen. And or like the world is falling apart. He's like, That's apocalypse. <laughs> apocalypse or, you know, something terrible where you're like, that could never happen, dude. Um, and he's like, yeah, well, that's the beauty of watching like. When he wants to watch something, he wants to get lost in a world that could never, you know, something that will never happen. The hero saves the day. And me, I want to like come out of it like, oh my God, what a love story. And of course, it's the same. Like that could really happen. Um, but no matter what type of movie it is that we're watching, the drinks, the snacks, everything, of course, that we end up bringing, you know, to our seats, whether they're lazy boys or whether we're watching in bed with the screen up on the, the ceiling, of course, we like to have something fun and we like to end with something sweet. So, Richie, I know you and Rain put something together sweet. Tell us about, um, you know, we'll roll your video and then you can tell us about what you guys well, I think you, you give commentary. So jump in yeah. if you need to share anything else. All right. Well, uh, I made this because I knew that I would be with Chef Kalel on this show. And it was the scariest thing to do. There's <laughs> pressure. To pre <laughs> not to put pressure on me or anything like that. But thank you, Michelle. <laughs> so I, what I wanted to do is just create some to show the people that uh, you don't really need to be a chef. To in to make snacks that you can enjoy, it's uh part of part of the fun can also be making it together, right? So that this is something that Rain and I did. I asked her how she likes her shake. Uh, she she likes fruits. She does like Nutella. So I said, okay, perfect. Let's make a uh, a, ba uh, a banana hazelnut uh, shake. And I was surprised to find out that using the uh, the Bauman Living uh, Power Blender was as easy as simply snapping it on and pressing the button. So I'm good. All right, let's roll that video. I know we have, there it is. Hey guys, it's movie night and Rain and I are gonna be making her favorite banana Nutella shake using our Bauman Living Power Blender. Are you guys ready? Yes, Daddy. Let's go. So as you can see, all we need are some very, very simple ingredients. Things that are most likely already in your refrigerator or in your pantry. Starting off, of course, with bananas. I had them peeled already. And then next, ice cream. Just so that we don't need to use milk and ice anymore. And it also gives it a nice creaminess. The reason why we're using vanilla is because not everyone likes chocolate. So if we use vanilla and then we just add a chocolate syrup, uh, everyone is happy because those that want it to be more chocolatey, just all they need to do is add the syrup. And then of course, you're gonna need some hazelnut spread, any brand, but of course, you know which brand we used. I added some fruity pebbles as sprinkles because I ran out of sprinkles. And then you have a spray can of whipped cream and you should be good to go. Guys, the Bauman Living Power Blender is so ridiculously easy to use. If I can use it with no problem, so can you. Look at that gorgeous stainless steel base, that easy to use push button panel, and the 700 ml blending jar. It also comes with a smaller 350 ml blending cup and a travel lid with a drinking spout that easily fits into the blending jar. Oh, Rainbow, show us how you make your shake. First, we put in the bananas. Second, we put in the ice cream. And last, we put the hazelnut spread. Now, Daddy will cover the jar and lock it into the blender. Once you hear that beep, it's time to let the magic happen. Thank you. 
After that, we just spray on a little bit of the whipped cream. Not the prettiest thing in the world. That's okay. You know what that is, chef. And then we just sprinkle on the fruity pebbles. Rain just saw a jar of sticko in the pantry, so she decided to add that. And there you have it. A very easy recipe. Just using ingredients that are in the kitchen or pantry. And you get a delicious banana Nutella shake. Yummy. Approved. I love that Rain wow. made an appearance. Thank you, Rain, for showing us how to do that. Super it looks fun. So decadent. <laughs> right. Shut up. She finished it, by the way. She didn't give me. Uh, <laughs> she didn't give me a taste. And then I go, oh, but me. Oh. <laughs> she did. Well, so okay. Um, fruity versus that. Actually, that um, Bauman Power Blender. So guys, we talked about the, the showroom where you can see it's the Tyler showroom and the Bauman um, living showroom as well. I know Chef is also familiar with the other sister brand from this company. Um, it's in Green Hills and they have everything there. It's like a full working showroom. You can check out the appliances, but that power blender actually is only available online. So you have to visit www.baumanliving.com if you want to purchase it. So that power blend, everything else is available nationwide. It's in all, you know, the SNR stores and of course um, other places where you would buy appliances as well. Um, and of course you can visit the website for all the other, you know, learning about all the other appliances as well. When you visit the website, there's like one part you can go into the Tyler where it has like the sous vide machine and the other, like the other kinds of, um, appliances, and then they have the Bauman appliances where they even have like a bread maker, um, the duo that I was telling you about earlier, which is I think 20% off from now um, until I'm not sure when, but you can check it out that that it's on sale and you can even see how to work it in the showroom. You know, a lot of times, I, Chef, I'm sure you know how to use many appliances, but when you're read when you get these new appliances, I'm all about reading the manual. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> like, you don't. You don't need to. You, I don't. <laughs> you don't need to. Muscle I'm not memory. Sure. <laughs> Muscle memory for him now. Um, okay. So, um, Richie, you did give commentary while you were making it. Um, mm -hmm. And you did say you were making shakes. Uh, you know, you're making more shakes now. Chef mentioned earlier in the show that they choose fruit shakes while watching in Rockwell. Um, when, yeah. you do, when you do have sh shakes, is it more also fruity or creamy like this, Richie? Um, it, it's uh, we are divided on that because I like I like stuff on the creamy side. Rain yes. loves straight. It, it rain is the one that likes the fruity ones. Okay, uh, she yung good she yung good example. Ako yung bad example. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's okay. There's balance there. Um, right, a lot right, of times right. for us with the fruit. So this is like a little helpful hint for for the mommies out there and the. The, the ones who are making the shakes for the kids. A lot of times, you know, you have fruit and it's a little bit overripe or, it, you know, you don't get to eat it right away. So I will just throw that in a Ziploc bag or a plastic bag and I'll throw it in the freezer so that when Jelly does want to shake, I can pull that mm -hmm. out. It's already sweet. I don't use sweetener when I make the shakes, mm -hmm. um, especially if the bananas are a little bit overripe and I'm not going to make banana bread or something. I'll throw them in the freezer for shakes banana milk ice that's already like she's super happy but if you know even the other fruits that you want to put in the the freezer from mangoes to even grapes i've thrown grapes in when they're not completely snappy anymore i'll throw them in the freezer too just so you can have shakes fresh shakes are so yummy we do have the fourth question so question number four means one four three four so the fourth person to answer correctly this is up for grabs you do have a lumos projector we have two more left so i'll go through all of the winners remember that you have to be watching from the rappler or the mama and manila facebook page you have to have shared the live stream and have it set to public from sunrise buckets you'll get a movie tray from friends and family you can claim a gift certificate in store um, from Ben B Mart, you'll get a fully loaded basket. Uh, from Bauman Living, you can claim your power blender. And from Lumos, you will get an HD projector. Wow. 
out. So make sure that you give us an address in Metro Manila. And Chef, would you read our last question, uh, our fourth question? Sure. <laughs> Where's the only place you can purchase the Power Blender? All right, so we did talk about that quickly. And um, of course, while we are waiting for the fourth person to answer correctly, one, four, three, four, four. For those of you that know, that's Beeper Speak. I love you very much. And here we're all about sharing kitchen love. I have to preface it, Richie. Not everybody who watches is like Tito's and Tita's age, right? <laughs> We're like, what's that? What's the, what are those numbers? <laughs> like, what's anyway, a beeper? <laughs> what, <laughs> what's, I had a clear one. Did you have what? Did you have? I had, yeah, you had the easy call. I had a pocket bell. <laughs> <laughs> Steph, did you did you fire a beeper? I'm assuming you're you're close to mine and Richie's age. You might be a little bit younger, aren't you? I have a feeling you're younger. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to say anything anymore. Apple na, apple na. Okay. <laughs> uh, we're really, you're so much younger than, you're so much no, no, just... Oh my gosh. Insert foot, insert mouth, insert foot into the mouth right now. Okay, so obviously you guys know we have been cooking up some kitchen love for quite a while. I would like to share, we have been sharing these, you know, this kitchen love for more than a year. Guys, it's been a year that we've been here in the kitchen, everybody in their own kitchens, having fun, sharing some kitchen love, kitchen goodness, of course, all with the help of our partners and friends who come, friends and family who come and visit us here in the kitchen as well. So, um, so many fun learning lessons. Um, okay. If your life was a movie, let's, let's see, I'm going to totally put you guys on the spot. We didn't talk about this earlier, but if your life was a movie, who would play you, um, as the actor? Oh my God. That's hard. <laughs> You can think about it. I think we have a winner. Let's see. We can. You guys think about who you. Who would you want? Who Keanu would you want? <laughs> yes. Well, your your names both begin with a K. So there you go. Keanu Reeves, Chef. We'll give that one to you. Richie, do you want more time to think? I no, think no. Actually, I I know I know uh, I, I have a story about that. It's okay. throughout my whole life. Uh, throughout my whole life, people have been joking me, and they call me Nino Mulak. And so, <laughs> <laughs> what happens? What happened was that one one time when at work, uh, I work in a post production house, and we were doing a movie where he was uh, where he was uh, part of that. He, he was part of that movie, and he okay. actually came into the office. And uh, my boss told me to wait for him and to bring him to the office when he got there. So I. Uh, I, I went when I saw him. I said, "I sir, uh, I'll take you." Po, uh, he na harap ni boss. Then he goes, ah, "Okay." He was on the phone, and then he looks at me, and then he does a double take. Oh, he goes, "Para tayo magkapatida." He goes, "He goes, I got to meet." And then I said, "Actually, po, that's uh, that's why po, I uh, I wanted to meet you in person because I wanted to take a picture of you because I get, my whole life people have been calling me Nino Mulak, and then oh, he, then he started laughing, and then we took a picture together, and then the next day. When I saw him, he came back to the office. When he walked into the office, he called me and he goes, Hoy, Nino Mulak. He goes, hey, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, oh my God. I must really look like Nino Mulak if even Nino Mulak calls me Nino Mulak. Mulak. <laughs> Wait, that's so funny. That really is funny, but now I want to see the picture. <laughs> it's on my Instagram. I'll, I'll look for it. <laughs> Share it with me later. Share it with me later. Okay. My, um, my, 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 my caption is, my caption was, my caption was proof that Nino Mulak and I are two different people. <laughs> There you go. There you go. He has an ensaymada or something that I know he also. Yes, yes, yes. Mulak, right? mulak ensaymada. Yeah, right. I haven't then, tried it. It's really in my good. TikTok, in my TikTok, where I do a lot of voiceovers, a lot of the comments I get, sir, kabosses nyo po si Aga Mulak, pero kamohan nyo po si Nino. <laughs> That's awesome. That is so awesome. <laughs> I have to get on TikTok, Richie. You have to give me like a TikTok 101. I'm like so... Chef, are you on TikTok? 
You're so no, busy. No, no. I, I have a TikTok account, but I'm, I'm not active. Yeah. It's just a different I find world. it complicated. Right. Yes. <laughs> it is. It's a different world. Richie, we need a, a TikTok 101 or something because I, right, I right. know I need to get on it. I just, I, I just I don't really, need the courage right I advise now. it. Okay. Well, well, that'll be another conversation. Let's have another right. Tito conversation about TikTok. Um, but okay, I think we have a winner. Um, and what, before, so you guys said Keanu and Nino, Nino, Nino Mulak. Nino said the person that would play me is who? Who would play me? I know who I would want to play me. Um, she was in uh, Les Miserables. Anne Hathaway. Anne Hathaway. Nino likes Maggie Q. Q. Maggie Q. Because I should be Maggie. Maggie Q. So if you're, if they ever make a movie about me, Maggie, Nino would like you to play me. (laughs) So, so there you go. So, all right. If your life was a movie, we have our our dream actors that that could play us. Um, But we do have a winner. Um. Oh. Mark, okay, one of our team members back backstage said that she thinks Ann Curtis could play me too. Wow. So, hmm, <laughs> I like her too. Um, okay, so the winner for this fourth question is Agnes Reyes. Congratulations. Um, you answered Bauman Living. Dot com. So you guys, if you didn't get a chance to win the Power Blender, you go ahead, hop on over to baumanliving.com and purchase it um, very easily and, and have it delivered. Okay. There is um, just one more question left. Don't worry. If you haven't won yet, you can also visit lumosprojector.ph. Take advantage of their sale. Um, they have 65% off now. The projector is super affordable compared to what it was when, of course, when there wasn't 65% off, you could pick up all of your own movie snacks, share them with your friends and your family, of course, and then, you know, visit all of the different places that um, our partners have come from, from Sunrise Buckets. We even have pizza today from also friends and family, but Stella. So I know you guys know um, this brand from before, the Rain Tree Group, Chef, you know, you are the corporate chef there and you have put out so many different concepts with the team, with the Rain Tree Group that, you know, every time we go into any of your restaurants, we know that it's going to be an experience from Chota Mate to um, friends and family to Jones. That's our new favorite place for brunch, of Thank course. You. Um, you know, I'm sure it, how do you do it with all, and even farmer's table into Gai Tai, right? How, how do you come up with all of the inspiration to create all of these completely different menus in it's all called, of the- uh, It's called ADHD. <laughs> <laughs> it works for you. It works, it works. <laughs> it works for you. It really works, yeah. Oh, so yeah, sometimes uh, you have to be one with the place. Like for example, farmer's table in Tagaytay, spend a few days there, tapos act like a tourist, act like mm-hmm. a visitor that's going to Tagaytay. What I, what would I want to eat? Parang right. ganon. Uh, when I'm in Tagaytay, of course, first it's like bulalo. But you have to put mga unique items in, in your menu like our cauliflower broccoli, which is our bestseller in, uh, in, to, in, in Tagaytay. Um, Wait, cauliflower broccoli? Yeah, hot house cauliflower broccoli. Yes, wow. it's so cauliflower you- and broccoli together. <coughs> together. Tapos it, yeah, tapos it tastes like uh, buffalo wings. So it's Ooh. a little healthier. Uh-uh. It's healthier. Awesome. So it's uh-uh. like KFC. It's like that. Oh, uh-uh. kind of like that. Uh-uh. <laughs> cauliflower. Uh-uh. Cauliflower awesome. broccoli. Yeah. Tapos we have one in uh to in Boracay also chachas. Yes. Oh, uh, that's yes. my favorite. Uh, so um, I'm going to confess, Chachas is the first place that I had uh, my ube champurado. And it's really my favorite. Richie, have you ube had Ube champurado, it? yeah. That's the birth. I haven't been to Chachas champurado. yet. No, not yet. I've had ube champurado, but I haven't had Chachas yet. In Provador, right? So they have it in Provador. They have it in family and friends. Um, yeah, that's where I have it. Friends, yeah. friends and family, Sorry. <coughs> sorry. 
It's okay. Drink muna. <laughs> But it's really my fave, um, so much so that I actually tried to copy it, you know, during when we're all in lockdown, I even went and like looked for Dungit that I wanted to put on top. And I, I'm not sure, Chef, did I tag you or did I send it to you? Because I was like, I can't have your Ube Champarado now. I, so I think you did. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I was like, I think I you did. Yeah, I think you did. Yeah, yeah. I did. I did. Thank you. So inspiration all over so you would say that it's add i would say that it's brilliant because all of the different places that we have visited our family we all have our favorites um and of course now the kids are old enough they like to go to chotomate not just for not just for the food but <laughs> or drinking <laughs> oh, <going> out drinking <laughs> like, drinking. all right if you're just at chotomate it's okay so not bad um, but yeah, so I love that you're so versatile and everything that you bring to the table for us. And you've shared so many fun things with us today. Thank you. Um, guys, Thank you so much. If you want, if you have questions for Chef, if you have questions for Richie, of course, they're here. You can go ahead and post them in the comments. If you want to visit any of the Rain Tree um, group restaurants, you know, you can check out the website, website as well. There's so many different concepts. And you know, certainly there's something for everyone. <clears throat> Today, I was noshing on these Kong chips. So if you don't want to dig in to these chips and you want to go a little bit healthier, of course, you can have your Kong chips. And um, what what else can we nosh on besides wings and snacks, but pizza too. So thanks for sending that Stella. <clears throat> Stella pizza over. Sorry, guys. It's okay. <laughs> Drink more water. Pushing, pushing through it. <laughs> I know it's there. <laughs> it's there. It's really there. Sorry, guys. Um, okay. But if you want to learn more, if there's something, guys, you know we like to respond. So if there's something you want to see, something you want to learn more about, send us a message. Send the folks over at Rappler a message. Send us a message on Kitchen 143 or even my private, you know, my own Mama and Manila um, social media, because if there's something you want to learn, I want to learn about it too. That's what the show is all about. And I, I know Richie said earlier, what do you make when you're on the show with a chef? You make exactly that. You make what's comforting. You make what we can in our kitchen with ingredients that are easy, of course, and for us, things that the kids love. So that's the beauty of this show. While we have the expertise of Chef Khalil, you know, who is... I'm very generous with sharing all of the things that he can teach us in our own home kitchens. You know, Richie and I, we're eaters. So we could just eat whatever Chef makes. <laughs> so there's cookers and eaters. And we're okay if you guys are, are eaters tuning in too. You can learn alongside with us. But there's still one more chance to win. Um, we have Sunrise Buckets, a movie tray. We also have from friends and family a gift certificate that you can claim in restaurant. You also have a fully loaded Benby basket, movie basket, containing, of course, all the sweets and treats you could desire. From Bauman Living, you will get Chef's very um, one appliance he cannot live without, which is the deep fryer. Deep we fryer. save that one for last. <clears throat> the deep fryer, and of course, you know, last but not least, the whole reason why we're here, Lumos um, will send you, you know, send you over your own Lumos home projector that you can create your own movie night at home. Okay. Um, all of these snacks are, are accessible to you guys. Um, and of course, we want, we want to see when you set up for movie night. So tag us, tag Chef, tag Richie at Pickiest Eater, tag Kitchen 143 and Rappler so we can see you put together your own movie night spread, your movie night munchies that you do with the family, your significant other, or maybe your barcada and the gang that you just want to, you know, hang out with and eat your chili cine gang popcorn. So here we go for the last question. I'll read this one, gentlemen. How big is the viewing area for the Lumos Ray Home Cinema when you are three meters from the wall? Okay, so remember, you have to live in Metro Manila. You have to be the fourth person to answer correctly, and you have to be watching from the Rappler or the Mama and Manila Facebook page. 
And we hope that you have shared the live stream and set it to public. Guys, we've gone through where the fourth person hasn't shared the live stream and we have to give it to the next person. So sharing the live stream is a must. Make sure that you go ahead and share. And I love that you guys are digging in. Richie, what are you noshing on? I am opening up the chicken wings. The wings. There you go. Love it. I've always loved okay. Sunrise Bucket. Me too. I cheat. I have though. a picture. I have a picture of my blog with, with the actual buckets of bones of me going. <laughs> awesome, awesome. I love that they have twenty five flavors because again, like no matter what you're looking for or craving for, they have all twenty five flavors there. And right. you, you guys can go ahead and contact them too on their Instagram. They also have a website you can order from. Um, you know, check it out. I'm sure my friend Abby will be happy to serve you, of course, because who doesn't love wings? Everybody loves wings. Mm. I think we are um, coming up on our winner. But before we do, let's see. Um, before we say goodbye and before we announce this uh, winner, Richie. Oh, no, you're eating? Mm. Chef. Yeah. <laughs> Chef. It's okay. Chef, if people wanted to follow you and, you know, um, hit you up with questions or, you know, how you made the apple fries or anything else about the Rain Tree Group or even, you know, what your favorite movie is if they want to chat some movie, movie trivia up with you. How can they find you, follow you, and uh, um, get in touch? Yeah, they can follow me in my uh, Instagram account. It's Kalel underscore Chan. Kalel underscore Chan. Yeah. Excellent. So you can, they can just shoot me a question. I, I'll answer them. Fantastic. And tell us more about any of the exciting things that you have coming up with the Rain Tree Group. I mean, I know we talked a little bit about how um, friends and family is going to be renovated and then you'll come back with something new there as well. Will the menu change as well? Uh, or so we're going to add the, uh, uh, what do you call this, um, bakery section, parang pandesalan Ooh, section. Wow. Uh, like, yeah. for example, uh, medyo creative, like croissant, but it's Spanish bread. Um, Palmier, but it's otap. Oh, uh, I love it. Uh, Pandicoco, but it's uh, it's inside a brioche bun. <gasps> Tapos, what I really want to put I, there I is the... I volunteer. Level up. Save. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was what I really want to put there is uh, um, dirty ice cream. Because there's, not, there's no dirty ice cream in that area. Uh, that's scooping station. Right. You put, it, you put it inside the brioche bun or a donut. Put a gelato. Put much gelato, yes. <laughs> yes. Perfect. Awesome. So I'm looking forward so, yeah, to that. So, yeah, so we're going to add that element. Galing, Fantastic. Galing. Exciting. Okay, Richie, if um, you know the viewers want to connect, check out your, your blog, um, your YouTube mm -hmm. channel, um, yeah. your TikTok. Tell us where to find you. <laughs> um, you can see in my name here, uh, Pickiest Eater on Instagram, Pickiest Eater in the World on Facebook, and Pickiest Eater, that one else on TikTok. I just recently started uh, uh, becoming more active on TikTok because, you know, that's where everyone is. And I, But I don't dance. So. <laughs> I was going to ask. Actually, <laughs> Chef and I, Chef and I would, were going to ask you if you could do a dance number for us. <laughs> I don't dance. I just eat. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm with you there. I will. You'll have to give me a TikTok tutorial. So Absolutely. that um, that I could join you there. I know we need to get on there. I know it's yes. something that has to happen. It's just there's so many different platforms to manage. And sometimes right. it's sometimes you're like, I have no time. That's what the right. question is. It, it does, right? I mean, it shouldn't be daunting. I mean, certainly it shouldn't be daunting. But I know when you're learning a new platform, it doesn't look easy. Right. So. All right, guys, we have a winner um, you, you know, for everyone tuning in, it's been such a pleasure to connect with everybody again. We've been away for a while and I've had so much fun with my two guests. I was so excited for this episode. Um, confession, I've been asking Richie to be on the show for like, since 
the first or the second episode, like even way before, because I just love talking and connecting with Richie over food and kids and all the fun things that we like to do to, you know, take care of our families as well. And chef, I've always been an admirer. Um, we, like I said, I, we dine in all of your, the concepts from the Rain Tree Group. So big, big Thank fan. You. Thank you, Michelle. Um, Thank you. Big, big Thank fan. You. <laughs> so let's announce that winner and then we can um, say goodbye to everybody. So Mary Madonna Ventanilla. Ventanilla. She answered correctly. Um, it was 100 inches. So you, congratulations, Mary. You have a whole set ready for movie munchy night. Um, you can enjoy it with the family, with your friends. Um, whoever you would like to invite over, of course, in a safe and social, you know, socially distant kind of way, of course. Um, guys, stay safe. And of course, send us some messages, what you want to learn about next. And it's been such a wonderful episode. Thank you, Richie. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. We'll Thank, you. you guys Thank you. In two Thank weeks. you for having us. Thank you. Super. So guys, we'll see you in two weeks for a back to school episode where we will talk about fun things you can create for your kids, put in the lunchbox, you know, bring out of the freezer or whip up casseroles that are easy when the kids are already back to face to face school. So, all right, guys, see you and um, stay safe. Bye bye. <laughs>